Okay, so hi everyone and welcome to another Goon Squad tutorial. My name is Zero and I'll be your teacher for today. So we're going to try to do a quick tutorial and explain how to export your Second Life avatar into an another grid and how to export your inventory, well as much of your inventory as you can, to another grid. So there's two tutorials compacted into one. So um, I didn't go into detail with this before, but I'm going to try to get as many details in here as I can and make it easier for you. So uh, we have our avatar here today. We're using the Athena model. <laughs> and we're going to export this avatar and put it into our open sim. So first thing you want to do is right click on your character and select Darkstorm XML export. You'll see that everything that you're wearing is loaded up here. Some viewers make it easier by putting a triangle and tell you that that's a pier like a when you have mesh, there's a triangle or a pyramid there. Unfortunately, Darkstorm doesn't do that, so uh, you just have to know what is actually mesh. You cannot XML export mesh at the moment. Um, if you do, it may show up on an open sim and you get your like hopes up and your eyes all sparkly but it turns out that that is actually the temporary mesh and uh, it'll go away everybody else will see you wearing dots and circles and stuff like that or error triangles and stuff so the only way you can actually export mesh is by doing the ex the colada export that I showed you before and if I didn't I'll just do it again so when you export you know to the XML export you'll see everything that you're wearing and you're just going to select all and you're going to make sure you check the download textures because um, when you XML export and import like uh, say we were just exporting this out for Second Life and when we import it back in it calls on the assets inside Second Life but because we're going to another grid those assets aren't there so you have to download the textures and save all the assets that make up these items to your hard drive first and then um, you know import it to your other world so that's why it's important for you to click the download textures button so we're gonna hit DS export and I'm gonna save it here and yeah yeah and there we go and you'll see that it takes some time to get it and that's how you export your outfit now let's say you have a bunch of uh, I wish I should have looked into this stuff before I did the tutorial so that's how you take your avatar and then you want to take your inventory let's say you have uh, gosh, I can't find anything good. Okay. Boxes. Let me see if I have boxes of sound. Mm. Gestures. Okay, so we have a, a box of gestures right here. And I want to export my gestures out. You would just right click on the side of here. And we're going to, on the folder name, and scroll down to save as and it'll give you a list of things that you can save and you would just click everything that you want out of the folder and then hit next objects never save no matter how hard you try or you want it to ever since server side bacon kicked in the objects will always fail so you'll probably have to wear those or res those on the ground and then xml export those so i'm just going to export my gestures right now and we're just going to hit export and I'm going to save it in the where is the dark storm tutorial and we're just gonna hit OK and you'll get this window that shows you everything that downloaded and then once it's completed you just close it and then we're off to the other world so uh, here we are in our other world um, I guess I should have flattened it or prepared it but <laughs> it's okay um, I'm in uh, an open sim grid. We bought one for like ten dollars. A whole region for ten dollars. I have to put the link down here so you guys can sign up too if you want to create a world. Okay, so we have the ugly. <clears throat> we have the starter avatar that they provide, and we want to bring in our avatar because this is the one we love and care about. So you go up to the top, 
and you select dark storm and then you select link uh, import XML link set so we're going to click that and I'm going to select that and it has everything that is me that I selected before now we're going to choose upload textures and then do the import and then we just wait for this to import It's uploading all the assets and stuff, and then once the assets are done, it's going to import the, what's these things called? The prims. So. Okay, now all the textures are done and now they can bring in all the prims and all that fun jazz. Sometimes you may not get all the assets when you're exporting. You could just, you know, save it again and uh, keep trying until it does it. Sometimes cleaning out your cache helps the process as well. Okay, so let's wait for everything to attach. So those are all the clothes I was wearing. So I'm going to my inventory. Uh, where would it be? Oh, it would be here. Ah, uh, my perfect tutorial. <clears throat> well, sorry about that. Even goons get calls from their mom when they're busy. It's like that commercial when they're like, moms call at the wrong time. It's just what they do. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, I took, this is all my stuff, but you see I still have the shape. And when I went into the folder here, it's usually in the recent folders, it has my name and all the things that I exported. So if I put them on, like so, I should look like me in a minute. We may have to do some adjusting. Put down my hair. Take off the dress. Any minute now. I got that sad look on my face, so I think that's coming. Here comes my skin, and, and there we go. So here I am, and my feet came in, but you know what I said about that. If anybody else was looking at them, they would be um, two feet color orbs on there. So I guess this would be a good chance to... Uh, I guess if you were in a rush, you can export them while they're here all over again. So you can export your mesh parts while you were, you know, over here. So there you go. That's how you bring your Second Life character into OpenSim. So that's it for this tutorial. I look forward to teaching you something else. What else do you want to export over here? Hmm maybe houses all right so next tutorial how to export <gasps> why step at houses how to export an entire region and bring it into open sim yeah now that's a tutorial i gotta go set up for that see you guys in the next tutorial bye <laughs>